future in senior scorn of one safety speech. Give me ten youngsters, and I'll surely will shake the world. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been 77 years of Indonesia's independence. Countless millions drops of blood have fallen. Not only that, over 77 years ago, so many names that have been immortalized in thousands of printed history books. In this young age, Indonesia continues to strive to develop. Various revolutions have taken place. Millions of discussions have been held. However, there has been no significant change. Problems continue to hunt like an eternal enemy that will never die. Many of the warriors have tried, but they drown in the abyss of despair, with no one remembering them in an eternal story. So now you may ask. What do I want to say in the today? What I want to say today is an inspiration and the last hope of our nation. <clears throat> it is a solution to all of the root problems in this world. However, only a few remember. It is a necessity called education. Therefore, with last hope, nation. So, I'll tell you what the true identity of education is. I'm sure you'll know the national figure named Hajar Dewata, with his slogan that reads to Puri Handayani. He has built a solid foundation for Indonesia, namely education. This figure once said that education has the aim of liberating humans. Then, what can liberate humans? As the opinion of the Hajar Dewata, he said that humans need to be free, is safe and happy. Safe body and happy soul. Safe body means that the individual can adapt and survive in all conditions. Happy soul means that the individual is not in fast. He lives lovingly, wrapped in warmth, so that he is happy. This is the goal of all human beings. Even if someone says that his goal is the hereafter, he must expect himself to be saved from hell and live happily in heaven. Isn't it right? Right. right? But look at what is happening now. Education is no longer a hope, but a pleasure. Even some of us feel like education is useless. Not even a few who end their life because the pressure of learning. Then this is not the real education. Education is not a method of healing or torture, but a key in the sense of life. When our people are busy with their education, they forget that our education has fallen apart. According to an institution called TISA, Indonesia ranks 74 out of 78 countries in the world. Imagine how bad Indonesia is in the eyes of the world. Even a professor from America said, that Indonesia's education is 128 years behind other countries. Imagine 128 years, even older than the age of our country today. I mean, do you not feel the shame of this old fashioned and backward education? I don't mean to give in my own homeland, but this is the reality. Our education is a mess. Our people's mindset is behind, and our knowledge is off. But we are not too late. We can change it. Because we, yeah, are the nation's relay holders. Currently, our education emphasizes theory rather than practitioners. More concerned the formula than how the formula appears. Our education likes to cover up. This is what we have to change. When children in Finland only go to school 18 hours per week, we, who are currently studying in Indonesia, spending 40 hours per week without us understanding everything that talk about doing those 40 hours. We are told to go to school to become successful people. But the reality is, many graduates become unemployed and even criminal. Full of humor of our country. But we are not finished. 
there are still many opportunities to change. For that, we need education as a foundation for the country. If tomorrow we leave this country, then we must improve the education. No longer concerned with no longer concerned with internal metaphors or what, but how we generate critical thinking, exercise, curiosity, and how we develop the de and how we develop the growth mindset that are needed in the 4.0 revolution era. Nowadays it's modern. It is no longer that the military is the power of the world, but how the economy and innovation can dominate the world. So from what so from what I'm telling you before, we can know that the education system in Indonesia has fragility in its execution. Both in terms of books, curriculum, mindset, educators still to the students themselves. But don't be sad. We still have ways to improve it. The first is that there is no more grouping between smart and stupid students. Then there is no such thing as practitioners restriction. And the most important thing is that students not only take the students not only take less okay, time is over.